Okay, let's do question 4.3. This is the third time I'm trying this, so hopefully it goes all right now. Mr. Fenter bought a chair which still has to be assembled. Below is a picture of the assembled chair showing different parts with some dimensions in inches. I hate these questions. I'm so bad at assembling stuff and seeing things in 3D. So we all have sections that we struggle with. So let's just get through it, be logical and address the questions. So here's the chair, A, B, C, D. There's the back leg. There's a seat where you put your bum. There's the slats for your back. And the stretcher and side stretchers kind of give the stability, right? So this is the height. This is the width. And this is the length. Okay, so, so that is sort of how we're going to take things into consideration and we're going to answer the questions using that information. Okay, so 4.3.1, write the following as a simplified ratio. The width of the chair, which we said is 18, to the height of the chair, which is 42, right? So width is basically when you look at a shape. So if you were standing over here, right, if you looked at this chair, albeit that this chair is now massive for this little human, but if you looked at this chair, that would be the width, right? So that's like a way of establishing it. If you look at it, it's the one that's kind of on top. Um, if you were just looking at it from the front. So that would be the width, right? So that's the width there. And so let's go and simplify it, right? So it would be 18 to 42. What they mean by simplified is basically there's no number that can go into each of them that will make them smaller without making them fractions, right? So here, what I mean by that is what's the number that can go into both of them? You should be able to think of six. So six can go into both of them. Six goes into 18 three times. So you divide that side by six, divide that side by six, which you do to the one side, you must do to the other. So it's three to seven. Now you could be saying, oh, must I make that side one? Well, if you made that side one, let's do it. You would have divided that by three. But if you divide this side by three, Let's do it on our calculator. Do you see that it forms a fraction? And so we don't want that, or a decimal, depending on the, the format. And that's not what we want. Simplified basically means that you've created it in a format where no number can go into it to make it a smaller integer. Integer being, um, or whole number, basically saying there's no fraction. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. 4.3.2. Convert the height of the chair, so that's the height now, 42, um, to millimeters. You may use the following conversions. Okay, so we have inches to feet, right? So it says that 12 inches equals one foot, okay? So let's firstly get these inches into, into sort of how we want to work through this. So this is actually 42 inches, okay? That's how much we got there. Um, and that's what we want to convert it to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, well, how do we get this to one inch? Okay, if I get that to one inch, what do I do? I divide by 12. What I do to the one side, I need to do to the other side. So do that. So this is more ratio than anything else. I don't know why I'm doing it so weirdly there. One divided by 12. So I'm gonna say one over 12 feet, okay? Now we want to make this equal to 42 inches, right? Obviously, there's quicker ways of doing this, but it's just to help you do this sort of in steps, right? So now I've times the side by 42 because I'm going from one inch to 42 inches. So I'm going to times that side by 42. Okay, and it's going to give me 3.5 feet. Okay, now let's go over here. It says that... 3.28084, I'm seeing it over here, right? Feet equals a thousand millimeters. Okay, so now, similar, make this just equal one foot. Okay, so what have we done? We've divided it by itself. Okay, and you could be saying, oh, Mark, it's such a long method. Well, it's a foolproof method, right? And remember, the whole point is that we stay accurate. Okay, so that becomes one foot. Then we say a thousand divided by 3.28084. And that becomes 304.799. And I'm just going to do it like that. Keep that in your calculator. Then over here, we want this to be 3.5 feet. So we're going to times that side by 3.5. What we do to the one side, we have to do to the other side. So we're going to take this value and we're going to times it by 3.5 and there is our answer. OK, 
Okay, did it say how many decimal places it wanted? It didn't, but we always assume that it's two decimal places. So it's going to be, look at the third decimal. The third decimal is above five, so we round up. But if you round up, that becomes eight, right? Because it becomes 80, right? Um, and that is then your answer there. Okay, there are quicker ways of doing it, but I'm doing this mainly because I'm wanting to build your understanding of what we're doing as opposed to just showing you shortcuts to get answers. There's no point in doing that. Okay, let's continue to the next question. Annexure C shows pictures, so go get your annexure, um, shows pictures and written instructions for the first steps to assemble the chair. This is where it like blows my mind. I'm so not practical. Um, choose an assembly instruction from column B that matches a picture in column A. Write only the letter um, next to the question. Okay, so we're basically going to do this. Okay, so we're going to have 4.4.3. So we're going to basically say here A, B, and C. Okay, so there's A, B, and C. And what we're going to do is we're going to match this column to something in that column. Okay, so let's make sure we do this correctly. So this, my, my printer again is being extreme, but this is basically the legs, right? The back of the, the uh, chair before um, it, it gets sort of all assembled together. So let's read through this. Okay, attached to the stretcher, attached to the stretcher to the front legs as shown using glue and screws okay don't know what that means right let's continue attach the front legs to the back legs with the sketches okay then it says secure the back slats okay slats probably looking at one of those two there's no slats in that one so we kind of getting there using glue and screws position the back stretcher on the legs as shown um then secure using glue and screws. So here it's not talking about any other of the legs. So it's probably here. So those ones is connected to that one. This is like a process of elimination. So I'm probably going to just say, we can always scratch it out, but we're going to say that. Okay. So now we have basically the legs with the slats. Here it says, attached to the stretcher to the front legs as shown using glue. So I'm thinking this is this one because it doesn't have anything to do with sort of the back legs or slats, etc. Right, it just talks about basically the front legs. So these are probably the front legs, those are the back legs, right? Um, and you're probably going to connect those via these slats. So I'm going to say that this is I, and then by process of elimination, this then has to be this one. Let's see if it makes sense. Attach to the front, attach the front legs to the back legs. Perfect with the stretches with these ones. So basically, we attach these two things together, right? So we're going to say that this one here is like that hate these questions, as I said, because like I'm quite bad at visualizing the 3D. But you can do these things even if you're bad at them, right? It's part of life lessons there. <laughs> so then it says state where the P or Q represents the side stretcher, okay? Now, for me, these ones are just the normal stretchers, right? That's a normal stretchers. So that's a normal stretchers, I would assume. And how do I know that's a normal stretcher? Well, Look at all of these. In, in all of the representation, the side stretches are just like these normal little like ruler looking things. So I would say that it's probably Q because these are just normal stretches. And because it said that they're different, I'm thinking that it's that one, right? It's kind of like a process of elimination, being a detective here. Um, so, oh, side stretcher equals Q. That's what I would say. Let's keep moving, right? Then it says the seat, right? is shown in the sketch. So here's the seat. So that's basically where you'll put your bum, right? It says, describe how you position the seat so that it attached to the rest of the structure. Okay, so I'm thinking that S would, is notch. So the notch S would be placed against B and the notch R would be placed against C, right? So notch S, B, Notch R, I'm going to say placed against. It's not supposed to be little arrows. You can't answer your things like that. Okay, placed against B and same thing over there, right? So S to B and then you would say R to C. Okay, I honestly, honestly hate these questions. But you can do it and we have done it and we're now going to go to question five.